You're the pro, I'm the schmo. We're out. Pro boxing fans here in Manchester with none other than the schmo. Schmo, welcome to the UK, my man. How are you, sir? The schmo can't complain. First time in Manchester, third time in the UK. The hospitality, the people here across the pond, they're always great to the schmo. Listen, Shmo, I've got to ask you about this card, man. It's big. There's a big buzz. There's a lot of people here. KSI, Tommy Fury, Dylan Dennis, Logan Paul. Talk to me about this one, man. Before the Shmo talks to you, are we talking to you? Are we talking to the camera? Or do we talk to both of you? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. All right, we'll talk to you. All right, where should we start? Let's talk Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis. Dylan Dennis, he showed up. Hallelujah. Here we go. Here's the interesting thing. Both these guys did their open workouts yesterday. Not one punch was thrown. It was straight up like a grappling choreography, some professional wrestling, some WWE action. We love the antics. We love seeing the theatrics. Both these guys are going to be ready. The trash talking on point. Madness about to ensue for this press conference, yeah? Talk to me about Dylan Dennis. Massive trash talking going on before this fight. Has he overstepped the mark in your eyes, the Schmo? Well, listen, this is the fight sport. What were you expecting when you signed up to have Dylan Dennis be your opponent? Not saying Dylan Dennis is right for doing what he's doing, but this is what you expect when you're getting a Dylan Dennis fight. We haven't seen him compete inside professional sports in a couple of years. Remember he had the KSI fight, had to pull out of that fight. The guys had two knee surgeries. Everyone's like, when's this guy going to fight? All this guy does is talk. He's an influencer. He's a social media clout chaser. Well, guess what? Here he is. It's fight week. He's ready to bang. He's ready to box. He's ready to do some chokeholds. We'll see. Talk to me about Tommy Fury. We know about the Furies. We know about Big Tyson fighting somebody that you know quite well in Francis Ngannou. But before I talk about that, talk to me about Tommy and that physique and what he brings to the ring. Now, Tommy, look at that bodybuilder-like physique, though. That upper body, that Popeye the Builder strength. Listen, Tommy Fury's got all the looks. He's a 10 out of 10. He does the Love Island things. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got a baby. And he's got a great boxing lineage. All the pressure in the world. Here's the interesting thing. Do you remember when he was over there fighting Jake Paul across the, uh, the other part of the world over there in Saudi Arabia? And they said, listen, you lose to Jake Paul, the family name, it's out. You're going to have to change the last name. Is that still on the table here? If he loses the KSI, does he have to change his last name? we got to ask John Fury. got to ask John Fury. What did you make of John Fury's antics yesterday? We saw him and KSI go back and forth. I think KSI might have spat him. There is footage of that. What did you make of the whole scuffle yesterday, man? The ultimate showman, John Fury. You get that guy riled up, you spit on him, he throws a bottle, whatever it is. That guy won't stop. He's ready to crack anybody. You would think he's like 25 years old with that testosterone and that range going through that man. The guy's ready to bang. He's a legend. I do need to talk about the other Fury now. Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou, two big, big guys. You know Francis' story. You've obviously talked to Francis before, but just talk to me about how much of a great moment this is for Francis' career, from where he's come from to where he is now. Listen, everybody wrote him off when he left the UFC. They were like, he's not going to get this fight. He's not going to get the big boxing match. Even Dana White was suggesting we get John Jones boxing or fighting a Tyson Fury. But look, he held his ground. And look, here we are. He's got the biggest payday coming of his life. Nothing but respect for Francis Ngannou. However, a little disrespect from Tyson Fury. When you're already booking that Usyk fight and you got a date set like two months later, a month and a half later, what kind of disrespect does that say to your opponent? Oh, I'm going to get in here. I'm going to go away unscathed. And now I'm going to defend my lineal heavyweight championship of the world, get all the belts against Usyk. That's big time stuff. That's big time disrespect if you ask the schmo. Maybe big balls. Maybe that's why it is. That's why, that's why it is. But Tyson Usyk talks to me about that one. Big fight. Saudi Arabia. We don't know the date right now. Huge fight. Talk to me about how that one plays out. Well, here's the thing. Already the schmo considers Tyson Fury a top 10 heavyweight of all time in the sport of boxing. Winning this fight against Usyk, you can definitely put him in the conversation at top five. Put him in the conversation, top five heavyweights all time. Tyson Fury he beats him. You said it right here. This is huge. I mean, he talks about him being a middleweight, the size difference, styles make fights, you name it. But who's going to dictate this fight? Who's going to dictate the pace? Will Tyson Fury bully him like he's been able to bully his other opponents? Undefeated, put it on the line. you got to have all the respect for Tyson Fury because, listen, at the end of the day, he's fighting all the guys he needs to fight to paint that legacy and to put himself in the all-time great conversation. And that's what this fight does against an Usyk. Final one, UFC 294 Abu Dhabi. We've seen the changes that have been made and wow, 
wow is what I've got to say to that. Talk to me about that. The changes are huge. Break it down for me, Shmo. They're actually better than what we originally had. The Shmo loves Paulo Costa, Hamza Shmaev. We still have to see that fight at some time. But Kamaru Usman, that is the perfect opponent for Chemaev. Chemaev has been fighting all these 170 guys. I know he had a, his last fight. It was like a catchweight with Kevin Holland at 180. But now you're getting a guy in Kamaru Usman who was the longtime champ, one of the greatest welterweights of all time, fighting him at 185. What the Shmo loves about the storyline is winner gets Sean Strickland for the middleweight title. That's what talking about who is the man to beat Sean Strickland it was actually a welterweight it was Kamar Usman you could get that rematch potentially and then you got Hamza Chmaev the Shmo's been inside his stream couture inside the gym when Hamza Chmaev and Sean Strickland have been smart we've seen these guys throw hands we've seen these guys grapple that would be an exciting fight obviously what you see in the gym is going to be a lot different than what you would see inside the cage but either way every fan of mixed martial arts is winning with that result and then come on the Volkanovski rematch against Islam Akachev. After the fight, they both agreed that they would do a rematch, and even Volk suggested they would do it in Abu Dhabi, and here we are, we're getting that fight. It's a win-win for mixed martial arts fans. It's a win-win. Final one. Final thought, too, is that maybe now we do the interim featherweight belt, because then Volkanovski can't defend against Ilya Taporia. Rumor is it would be in Toronto, right? Now we get Max Holloway stepping in. We get Holloway to Poria interim featherweight belt. Then eventually you can unify with Volkanovski. And then maybe it's a quadrilogy. We get a second one of those with Max Holloway if he beats to Poria. If not, you get to Poria and you get Volkanovski. Love it. Final message for the fans. I'm going to give you the mic. It's all yours. All right, here we go. We appreciate it. The Schmo doesn't do many interviews this style so we got the mic final message we're here in manchester we appreciate every single one of you whether you're a fan of boxing of mixed martial arts the schmo loves to entertain to talk sports and here we are have a great day don't worry be happy if you're not first you're last ricky bobby you're the pro i'm the schmo we're out